Okay, I'm gonna do two more videos and then the rest I think that you can kind of mess around and read and find things and then ask for questions actually. So this next one is just gonna be kind of a little bit of other ways to find things in Fae. So if you have questions about the calendar, things that are coming on, the calendar comes in here and tells us what stuff is coming up. These bluish dates are called scrambles. That's when everybody can fight and steal castles. Um, on each thing, as you can see, you can kind of click in and you can see where we're going as we open things up. It'll tell you more information, like you can get a castle limit so every alliance can take more castles. So we have limits to how many we can take. And it'll just kind of show you those different levels of things you can do. Um, going over here, military rank. Every time you move, you earn military rank in two ways. One, you need military coins or military merit. That's these little coin things here. And then, and you earn that, um, through a combination, you get some through different events and quests and things, but most of it is earned through um, occupying castles and through killing other troops. So you get that, and then exploration points, which you see here in bright green, those are done by only mines. So as you have the mines, the higher they are, the more exploration points you get and the higher you can rank. So we go up each level that you achieve, you get new sets of rewards. We go into silver, as you can see, gold. Okay. As you can see, the rewards go up each time that you do. So good to me. It's not bad this time. Some decent ones. So legendary knight is the final option. And then you get a fun little token that'll sit in your inventory and do absolutely no good. And then the military rank store, this resets every uh, seven days. And it'll do a little timer soon. And then this lets you see the rewards. So with those coins that you earn, you can redeem them for rewards. Um, ooh, we got blade ones. So that's nice. The hero weapons went up. This is the only way to earn hero weapons. So that's a thing. You get a lot of good um, elder dragon stuff. Mana shards are great. Extra breath of fire. And then they'll add new things and upgrade and increase what's available in the merit store each week. Um... Your merit expires. You only get to roll over 18,000 merit coins. So always use them up. We will, we always send out one of those. All right. So we get research, we have basic and advanced. Advanced, you won't be able to get to until you've done a bunch of basics. So you start there. As I showed a little bit, basically most of your development research is doing your illusion defense, production, of your stone flowers or fantasy gems and storage of your stone flower and fantasy gems. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Goodness gracious. Maybe a little further, there's some more advanced research. Again, it's gonna take a while to get there. You'll have time to get used to things and ask questions about it. And then hunter, fighter, and these researches, these are other just like advanced research. You can kind of read up on each of them. And enhancement helps do that too. It has some of these research things. Uh, Fey exploitation is kind of like the resource boost talent skill, you know, where you hit the little wheat symbol and get um, 12 hours worth of resource production. It's like that. You get the Fey resource production. This increases the number of mines that you have. Um, and that's mostly what this category is, but it's not, don't sleep on it. Some people will tend to ignore it for a bit, and it's actually good news. And then, let's see, um, territory just shows how many mines you have. Alliance castles and kingdom castles, which is like it. Um, military ranking, so swords, spells, don't matter for a while. Realm commander, like I said, that's street right now, otherwise it's me. And then Alliance Battle Reports, which we don't really know for now. Rankings, came of command point rankings, once we start earning castles, there's a little change. Um, we want to be the best. Alliance command points, we actually don't want to be the best. Um, we are very, very willing to let others take more castles than us, because it lets us use that teleport as well. So we actually, the more often we can get like farms and things to be ahead, the better so that more of us main alliances can move around. 
individual exploration points. This is based on the mines that you occupy. Don't worry about rankings, it doesn't actually, you don't actually get any extra points for them. And T13s and T14s will absolutely outrank this. I don't even rank in like the top 40 half the time. Uh, and then individual military merit. This does actually matter. Definitely want the military merit. Um, MC will go insane on it. He gets a lot. But the military matter, merit does matter. Um, and it matters over here in rank... Not Sorry, excuse me, not ranking. In rewards. So, two-part rewards. One, on the final settlement, you do have to be in the top rewards. Um, there's a hundred... It's kind of weird on my thing. Anyway, there's 100 packs that the Realm Commander can give out at the end um, based on what level ranking that you have. So these are pretty sweet packs. You have to be in the top 100 of Military Merit to get these rewards. Now, we definitely include um, other factors to determine these rankings, but you do have to be in the top 100. So Military Merit does matter. Um, most mains get in the top 100. It's not too difficult to do that. And then you'll be guaranteed, depending on what level knight you are, these rewards additionally, even if you don't get a pack. So it's pretty solid there. And then the champion exclusive. Uh, let's see how they're doing it this time. Okay, so I get to pick the Lionheart. Um, which I believe was the... No, was not the case last time. Anyway, they've changed this back and forth. So the leader is the gets the lion heart, which is pretty much always straight. If we win, you, we only get this if we get first place in the whole thing. So if we win, streets usually are lion heart, and the valor born are the top five with the highest military merit, and that just defaults. Like as soon as I appoint street, it defaults to the rest of them. So that's ranking rewards, and then achievement. This is one of the great things about it. Um. God, this video is too long. But we're going to just do it because then I've covered all of the different little categories. So, achievements are here. There are different categories. And you can see as we scroll through them, you get royals and gold for most of your development ones. You can get for conquest is banners and gold. It's a lot of gold, which is really nice. Um, also banners and gold for siege, which is a lot of castle related stuff. And then looks like war tones and gold for research. Oh yes, okay, and then we get a few of these um, Skyloft Garden things for higher research. Honestly, it's like impossible to get that high. And you earn these little coin things, and then every time you hit a certain level on the achievements. So here you get Imperium points and some speed ups at 3,000, some noble badges. Oh, that's not too shabby. Decent amount of royal badges in this one. I'm also looking at these to see. Advanced summons and some scales. Um, a Skyloft thing and war tones. Ooh, this one up actually this time. Okay, so we got here. Um, Sands of Time. Last time it ended at 18,000, I think. So this is nice. They've added a few more reward levels. That's kind of cool. Um, and then you can get extra achievements and things there and then this store you need to use this as store closes as you can see by the countdown on the left it closes in less than five days so you do need to spend your merit coins that are left over from last season in the store um before it's too late so do use those and go through what you can get the stage banners are a pretty good one to get the nobles are not a bad choice honestly because nobles are so hard to get and then the um, fire dragon heart can be useful since you have a fire dragon. So I would say go with that. It would go either fire dragon, nobles, depending on how many account that account has, or prestige banners. Um, yeah. Okay, that's too long, but whatever. 